Hi everyone, welcome back to my final ladder prediction for the 2023 AFL season. I'm just going to keep this short and I guess later in the year, once the season is over, I will do a review on this and let's see how I went overall. So I don't think there's going to be too many changes in the top four for me. I'm going to move Brisbane to second. I think um, they're a bit better team for me. Melbourne, like definitely still could make second. Um, the Cats, I think, are yeah, still a very strong team. I think um, this, at least these top three should be top three. And then it might be these three here from four, five, six. That could be that number four spot. Another big change I'm going to make um, is Port Adelaide. After watching their preseason game and also their intra-club games, I just was not impressed. I have them 7th on the original one, as you can see here on the left-hand side. But after watching their performance, I just do not see them being in the 8. Um, they might surprise me this year, but I just can't see them being in the 8. They were not that impressive to me at all. So for that, I'm taking them out. I'm going to put Frio into 7th. I'm going to put Richmond at 8th. And unfortunately, no, I'm going to drop them one more. I think the Dogs have a better chance than Port Adelaide at the moment. Remember, these are my personal opinions. I just don't see Port challenging the top eight sides. They struggled last year to put up a good performance against the top eight sides. I think it's going to happen again. I'm happy with the Crows at 11th. Again, I am a Crows fan, I think. That's probably about where they're going to be, anywhere from 11 to 13, 14. I probably don't see them. I've heard a few people say they might push for finals. I don't think they're there yet. I think they're still too young. Maybe next year they'll push for finals, but I just think they don't quite have that experience for me. So 12th, St. Kilda. Not confident on that at all, but going to leave them there. Now, I was very bullish on the West Coast Eagles, but after watching the intra-club and the preseason match, I was wrong. These guys are not going to be anywhere near the eight, in my opinion. I think they're going to be probably a bottom four side. So for that, I'm going to move them out. I'm going to put Essendon at 13. I'm going to put, whoops, and I'm going to put Gold Coast at 14. I think Gold Coast probably could be in the 12th spot, 11, 12th spot. Um... They do have a good team, but I just, again, I don't think they've got that solid front and back line. Uh, GWS Giants, again, were not that impressive um, for me. I just did not like the way they were playing footy. Again, my personal opinion, I just don't see it happening. West Coast Eagles, again, not good. Not a good look. North Melbourne, I think they're going to swap for me. North, they'll be okay. They're going to be terrible again, but... Yeah, they're not that good. And unfortunately, I'm going to move the Hawks to 17th. Uh, I, I'm bullish on the Hawks. I think they will probably start off the season pretty well. I'll probably play a few of these bottom sides and get a few wins, maybe steal a few wins up the top side teams. But I think over the long run, over the whole season, Hawks will not perform that well. But... I would be surprised if they were last. I know I said, watch out, they're going to be wooden spooners. I just don't see it. I think it's going to be GWS, West Coast, North are most likely going to be the wooden spooners. Hawks will win a few games, and then they're probably, for me, going to lose some easy games just due to the lack of experience after losing a 1,000 games in their uh, senior side. So, anyway, this is my final ladder. I have Geelong first, Brisbane second, Melbourne third, Collingwood fourth, Swans fifth, Carlton sixth, seventh, Fremantle eighth, Richmond ninth, Western Bulldogs tenth, Port Adelaide eleven, Adelaide Crows twelve, St Kilda thirteen, Essendon fourteen, Gold Coast fifteen, North Melbourne sixteen, West Coast seventeen, Hawks and eighteen at GWS. And that is my final ladder. And yes, I'm sticking to that.